In today's video, I bought a box full of old school Yu-Gi-Oh boxes. It's a box in a box. What is up, everybody? We have a pretty big purchase today. There's some pretty massive stuff supposedly in this box. We're about to find out, you know, because when you make these big purchases, you're always like, I really hope this stuff gets here. It's all safe and sound. It's as you expected. But I'm feeling pretty good about this because this is uh, an old school Konami case, which is a lot of the boxes that we are actually getting were potentially from this case. So very interesting to see. I think there should be some bonus packs according to the guy who sold me. So we might be opening some packs as well, not just looking at boxes today. So if you're excited about that, make sure you enter the giveaway as well. We'll be giving away these two cards, the Collector Rare Alternative and the QCR Phantasme. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about our purchase? And a lot of this stuff will be going up on ruxon34.com. So keep an eye on the website. All right, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of a different angle just for, just for this part of the opening, just so we can see us open this up. I, I'm gonna try my best. The face cams will be a little janky for a second. Don't worry, guys. We'll fix it once we get this open. So first, for the box opening, let's see if we got everything that we ordered. I'm very excited. Here we go. Box opening right now. Okay, it's looking promising. Old school boxes right here. I opened it from the bottom because there was a label on the top that had uh, his address stuff, so I didn't want to do that. Mine is just a P.O. box, so no big deal. Okay, um, as you guys can see, we have some old school boxes. We have a Cybernetic Revolution first edition box. So this is a retail box. So this is not a hobby box. So this is not as like as crazy as the other one. This is the 8-9 number. So if it was 83, it, they'd be more expensive. They'd be like really crazy. But these are still really nice because you have, I mean, you have some nice potential like uh, not Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman is different. Bubble Man, stuff like that. Okay, this looks legit. That's all I need to do is do that part on the on the screen. Now I'm going to move back to the regular setup and you guys will be able to see better. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through everything we got, which is one Cybernetic Revolution retail box. Very nice. Let's make that two Cybernetic Revolution retail boxes. As you guys can see, looks really nice. 103189, that's the retail code. We've got three cybernetic revolution retail boxes these will be available on the website so if you're interested in like a sealed display of cybernetic revolution this is a lot cheaper than the hobby option i mean they're probably going to be thousand bucks something like that which is i know not cheap but for an old school cybernetic revolution box it's a lot cheaper than hobby which is 2k 2 plus k i'm not exactly sure so if you guys want one of those you can check it out at rexon 34com uh the cybernetic revolution fourth box right there four of those and then there is one final cybernetic revolution box right here first edition so we have five cybernetic revolution boxes so that's pretty crazy pretty awesome this one's a little bit more damaged at the top so not as in good a condition but the other ones are pretty nice so five i mean that's insane I've never held that many Cybernetic Revolution boxes. Even being retail is pretty crazy. But there's more. Don't worry, guys. There is more. We have an Elemental Energy First Edition box. This one is also a, re a retail box. So 103.3.381. The code for a hobby would, would be 103.375. Uh, still, though, Elemental Energy actually does have some pretty cool retail cards. I would not recommend opening a retail box in really in ever because there's cool cards, but it's not usually like the big, big ones. Though Bubble Man is pretty big in Cybernetic Revolution. This one, I think, has... Uh, oh, I just... I was blanked on the one I was thinking of. Doesn't this have Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight? I think that's in here. So there's some cool stuff in Elemental Energy as well. But even this one, I mean, even the retail is pretty expensive because Elemental Energy is so rare. So that's a pretty awesome box. The real reason I bought these was not for the retail boxes. I mean, those are great. They'll be on the website. It was for the Soul of the Duelist first edition boxes. So as you guys can see here, this is a 102496, which is a hobby Soul of the Duelist box. So potential at the you know, the uh, Horus level eight, Horus level six, all that different stuff. I've never actually pulled anything good. I always pull the greed and I always pull the Uniboob lady, whatever her name is, Penumbral soldier lady. Yeah, so that's that's pretty brutal when that happens, but you do have high potential, which by the way, shout out to GG Vision for the amazing pull the other day. He reached out and showed me his, his clip. I missed the video, but insane. He pulled a Horus level eight and a Horus level six, I think, ulti first edition in the same box or same opening at least. It was insane. So yeah, I, got, I was like, look, I had a chance to buy some of these. I do actually need one of these for my collection. And by the way, I got more than one. That's a little spoiler. We have um, not one, not two first edition Soul of the Duelist. And some of these will be for sale. One is a box break currently. So if you want to get in on the box break, you can check it out. Uh, if you want to buy a full box, I'm not sure how many of these I'm selling because I'm going to keep one for my collection because uh, I am trying to get all the first uh, 14 boxes. Right now I have, 
a decent amount of them are working on it. Maybe one. I, I don't know. They are pretty. They're pretty nice. And I'm pretty sure these are case fresh. These Sola Duelists, because I literally have the case right here. <laughs> uh, these feel case fresh. Like the boxes are really nice. I don't know. I don't know how many I'm going to sell. I might only sell like the one box break and then maybe, maybe one more. We'll see. I, I'll have to decide because this was an expensive purchase. So it's how much I want to recoup. But I mean, these sold. I mean, you just guys got to look at this. You guys got to look at this one sec. So unfortunately, my lighting is not incredible when it comes to this side. <laughs> it's got to be like pointed the other way. But like, as you guys can see, we've got 11 old school booster boxes here. I mean, these are the, my favorite because I love green. So I love the green look of them. Yugi's still on there. Horus is back there. I don't really like the box thing where they kind of boxed him in like a Yu-Gi-Oh card instead of letting it extend out, but it is still pretty cool. All right, and that's not it. We do have a few packs to open as well. So uh, another cool thing is this, this hobby case right here, as you guys can see. So 102495. So how this works is 102496 is the hobby box code. The one before that is the case code, so the 9.5. They have a code for every single product, whether it be a blister, all that different stuff, blister cases, all that different stuff. I'm pretty sure this is where the boxes came from, so pretty cool. Shout out to this guy for selling me these cards. Check him out. There's his Instagram. He wanted me to shout out his Instagram. I'm not going to jumble around and try to say his Instagram handle. It's right there. So shout out to him for selling me these and giving us these free packs, which we are about to open up. I don't know if they're hobby or retail, but who really cares? They're free packs, plus it's a nice opening for today. So I'm really pumped. This is really cool. So he said he wanted to sell me these boxes. He gave me a pretty, pretty nice deal on him. He said, because he wanted to be on the channel. He's like, I, he said, I was a great YouTuber. I was like, that's really nice of you, man. I appreciate it. So, uh, very cool. Very exciting. Let's see if we can pull some out of his free packs. That'd be pretty awesome to get an ultimate rare. We have chain detonation. We have dark Lucius. I'm pretty excited because soul. The duels is one of them's getting open. I mean, these are some really cool stuff. Level down, uh, flame. Ogre, the vanity's call cyber. Ogre, mystical wind typhoon and Degenerate Circuit. All right. Uh, did someone call me a degenerate for all the packs I open. Seems like Twitter thinks I'm addicted to opening packs. I don't know why they would think that. It's very strange. It's not like I open a lot of packs or anything. I don't, I don't know what that's about. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Speaking of Twitter, go follow me. X or whatever it's called. We're almost at 19k followers. We're at 18.9. Go give me a follow at Ruxon34. I tweet some stuff over there. Sometimes it's interesting. Sometimes it's not. I'll let you determine that. We have Rallis of Starbird. Alien. Royal Red of Taxation. The Paths of Destiny. Orbital Bombardment, Wonder Garage, Elemental Hero Neos, very nice common, and Neo Space. I'm going to take out that Elemental Hero Neos. That's pretty dope. Okay, another Power of the Duelist. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting purchase today. I'm just excited because honestly, I got a little worried because I spent a lot of money on this purchase and we bought another one and I, I started getting worried. I was like, because I bought them from him. A lot of times I don't buy until I get the product and uh, because it just it's just way easier because first of all, I have the rep. I don't really need to check in on anybody else, you know? And then most people just trust me to do it, and it works out perfectly. It's super clean. This time, I bought them ahead of time. Oh, we got some. Okay, Aqua Dolphin. Very nice. So I was just freaking out the whole time. I was like, oh, man, uh, because it was quite a lot of money. Let's just say, I mean, you saw it. It's 11 booster boxes. I have 13 more coming, by the way. Yeah, so, yeah, we got a lot of boxes coming up. I'm pretty excited because a lot of these will be part of the channel. Good stuff for Ruxin34.com. But when you spend that much money, start freaking out a little bit, you know? Uh, and I should be used to it by now because I spend a lot to, you know, buy a lot of boxes and stuff. But it's stressful sometimes. So, so yeah, I'm just happy this worked out. I'm very happy. It went super smoothly. Contact. Crystal's Dolphin. Guy was very chill, actually. We have Rescue Roid, uh, Destiny Hero, Fearmonger. Oh, an ultimate Overload Fusion! That's one of the best ulties in retail power of the Duelist. Where am I? I can't see my sleeves because they're covered up by boxes. Out of the way, boxes. You gotta be careful. That is an insane pull. I, I've recently, not recently, but a few months ago, we pulled this. This is literally one of the best cards. I think it's like 60 bucks, something like that. And in retail, that's a pretty great card. There's a little bit of edge wear on this right here. That is a sweet looking card. It's in pretty great shape. Tiny bit of edge wear right there, but honestly, it looks really good. Overload Fusion ulti. Okay. He sent us a few extra packs. I was like, whatever. They probably have nothing in them, right? You know, it's just some free packs. I did not expect to get a good ulti. Like, there's a lot of bad ultis in these sets. So, I mean, this is pretty great. I mean, this is pretty nice. Oh, my goodness. That is an incredible pull. Cyberdark Impact. So, okay, let's... What are we wanting out of here? I mean, Cyberdark Impact... Oh, yeah, Vanity's Fiend. Vanity's Ruler. I mean, those are huge. I think there's another one I'm forgetting that's pretty good. We have Queen's Bodyguard. Allure Queen monsters on your side of the field cannot be... This is an Allure Queen card? Interesting. I just play... Uh, I just recorded some Wield Goat, and I'm about to record more Wield Goat after this, so I've been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! today. Blast of Smoney, we have Justy Break. I just got to get on the, uh, you know, get my game on, start getting some dubs. Ritual Foregone, we have a Combo Fighter, and... 
dimension inversion. Okay, yeah, see, that's not a great ulti if you get that. That's kind of like whatever. First edition power of the duelist. Oof, let's go. Let's keep it up. Overload fusion, dude. I mean, that is, that's sweet. One, two, three, four from the back. We have bite lawn he's gonna bite you this reminds me of what's what's the dragon ball z thing rhyme style tell me out here i know you'll i know you'll watch so so tell me that what's the road that goku's running on at the beginning of dragon ball z when he's you know he's trying to to come back to life royal road that <laughs> sounds like a Mar mario card it's mario card i'm losing it mausoleum of the emperor we have miracle jurassic egg orbital bombardment rescue roid destiny or fear monger via Croy connection zone here we go Oh, Destiny Hero Dog Hunt. Dude, these Power of the Duelist are loaded. That's three Power of the Duelist pulls. Can we step it up, Cyberdark Impact? I mean, come on. Don't let them uh, out outdo you like that. Okay, Cyberdark Impact. We got four packs left. This is very awesome. Very awesome. I'm excited. I'm pumped. A lot of awesome stuff has been picked up. And speaking of, you're probably seeing this the week of Collecticon Charlotte. I will be at Collecticon Charlotte. Some of the stuff will probably be there. So make sure you come out. Say hi. We're vending me. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Uber cracking vop should be there i don't think he's vending but he'll be with us so a lot a lot of people will be there so come say hi maybe buy something maybe don't just maybe you want to sell me something i'll be buying at 65 70 percent something like that depending on what you have chain healing we have alien infiltrator counter cleaner alert queen level three flame ogre we have the vanities call okay this is kind of in the shape of the nightmare horse from front of guardian do you see it this right here i don't know why i'm seeing other stuff than the actual artwork cyber ogre. i tried to use this one time and it was some duel it was like was it auction series with SEMO? I don't remember, but it was terrible. We have Mystical Wind Typhoon and Cyberdark Edge. All right, they heard. They heard us call and they actually gave us something good. All right, Cyberdark Edge, super rare. Three packs left. So let's see what we shall pull. First edition, Power of the Duelist. I'm super pumped about these Soul of the Duelist. Maybe one of them has a Horus ulti in it. I mean, really any of the Horus ultis would be great, but I mean, the level eight is a big, big card. It's one I've never pulled. If you guys remember, my ver one of my very first boxes, not my first, because it was Ancient Sanctuary. I think it might have been my second or third around Cyberdark Impact. I've been Soul of the Duelist. That's when we got Greed and we got the uh, Performa whatever, not Performa Pal. What's her name? I just forgot. The Uniboob, whatever her name is. Okay, Brainwashing Beam. Uh, yeah, so we, we pulled like, I remember those cards, Ulti, First Ed, were like $3 when we did that in 2019. I think early 2019, maybe 2018. They were like $3 Ultimate Rare near Mint. It was brutal. And they weren't even near Mint because they had all the scuffing on them like they normally do. Elements of Hero Neos. Wonder Garage. And here we go. Baby Sarah Source. Oh, okay, a little dino action. Cosmic Core Gangel. All right, rare. Not too bad. Okay, two packs left. So Soul of the Duelist has some bittersweet memories for me. I remember opening it. It was a $350 box at the time, which was very expensive back then. I pulled six dollars worth of cards so it was pretty pretty rough man i was so sad after that opening it was like almost as sad as when we opened the magician's force for 15k and pulled like 600 dollars. it's because it was early on you know 350 was a lot more in the early at the beginning you know what i mean i didn't have as much into Yu-Gi-Oh, so i wasn't able to sell as much and stuff like that so it felt like a big loss which it was snipe hunter alien mars because if you spend that much and you get nothing back there's like nothing to sell you know what i mean send it switch we have queen's bodyguard very statue of the heavens i know we're rambling a little bit in this video but hopefully you enjoy it Stray's modian if you are enjoying it by the way before we reveal this epic rare right here we've instant fusion great card make sure you subscribe to the channel because we will be doing awesome openings like this in the future we will also be opening every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! 250,000 we're at 239,000 right now at recording this we're probably a little bit more because i'm recording a little ahead because i'm out of town for collecticon so instant fusion and Allure Queen level five. All right, nice card, nice card. Last pack magic, guys. Last pack magic. Make sure you come out to Collecticon if you're in the area. Maybe if you want to make a little trip for the weekend, it's going to be super fun. Saturday is usually the most popular day to go. If you want to show up on Sunday, there'll be less stuff, but you might be able to uh, walk around a little bit more easy. Uh, I'll probably won't be as busy, stuff like that. So that you can, that's your info stuff for your your special tip for showing up last pack magic of the video i'm super pumped this has been an awesome purchase there should be another awesome one coming very soon you'll probably see the video this week fake hero here we go crop circles we got destiny hero defender destiny mirage wonder garage alien gray synthetic seraphim black terra and here we go last card i mean i can't be mad with the pulls i mean we got a bunch of supers and an ultimate rare overload fusion let's see D-Chain, all right, the D-Chain ends it. Okay, pretty awesome video, pretty amazing stuff. I'm pumped. Go check out Ruxa34.com if you want some of this stuff. Elemental Energy Cybernetic Revolution will be up there for sure. Soul of the Duelist, pending. We'll see about those. If you are interested, you can message me if it's not up there. 
and we'll see about that. Shout out to Tom Fosho, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa Jr., Barding, Robert F., Chang Lang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.